Hello, and welcome to the Passage Software webinar for the 28th of October 2011. Today we'll be discussing the new features and improvements that come with Sage 50 Accounts 2012. Sage 50 Accounts 2012 includes a number of new features and improvements that have been driven by customer requests and suggestions on the product's wish, wish list. This webinar will be and the relating article on the Passage Software Knowledge Base gives an overview of the main changes and links to articles that discuss the features in greater depth. Lock date is a new function in 2012 that gives you the option to prevent posting before a specific date. For example, after running a month end, you might want to stop any transactions being posted to the period that you've just processed. You can use the lock date option to do this. How it works. You start off, you go to settings and then open up lock date. Then you enter the date before which the transactions cannot be posted. You can then set up access rights so certain users can override the lock date as required. Any transaction posted to a locked period are flagged as such so you can report on them. You can update the lock date when you run an end, a month end or year end. If a user has full access to every part of the software, then on an upgrade, they will have the ability to override the lock date. If a user only has partial access on upgrade, then initially they will not be able to override the lock date. To grant a user access to override the lock date, log in as manager, go to settings, access rights, select the user from the list and go details. Select the settings menu and then the dialogues select lock date settings, full access, OK, close and close. The second item is the quick search, which you can use to find the records you need quickly. To use the quick search option, simply enter name or value you want to locate and click search. The search is applied to the information that is visible in the module window and the records that contain the information you search for are listed. When searching customers, suppliers, invoice lists and address information is searched as well. To switch between your filtered search results and the full list, click the spyglass in the top right hand corner of the window. To discard your search, click clear. The search is not case sensitive and looks for all of the characters entered. For example, a search for John Smith returns records like John Smith, but not records that contain just John or Smith in isolation. When searching for dates, the format should be day day slash mm slash year year year. For example, 28 slash 10 slash 2011. A tip for quick search. Quick search is applied to the records listed in the window. If you have previously used the full search option, your list may be filtered already. To ensure all records are included in your quick search, check that no other searches are in place. Click search, discard, apply, and then close. There are three different wildcard searches that may be used to broaden your search. You, uh, the asterisks, you can use the asterisks if you want to search for part of a name or value. A search for A, B, asterisks will return all records that that have content beginning with A, B. In our example, 
we have also used WE asterisk 001 and that will, retu that will return all content that starts with WE and ends in 001. Other options is, is the, wild, uh, um, the question mark. The wild card can be used for single undefined characters in a search. A search for ST question mark 001 will return um, examples STE001 and STU001, but not any more than that. The chart of accounts layout in Sage Accounts 2012 has um, has been improved. The three areas that the chart that have been improved in the chart of accounts are the chart of accounts um, preview panel, which now shows you the layout for your profit and loss or balance sheet reports as you make changes to the chart of accounts. This makes it easier for you to see if your records are correct. Separate tabs for profit and loss and balance sheet. This makes it easier to distinguish between profit and loss and balance sheet ranges. Taxation. There is now a section for recording taxation after net profit. Finally, performance. We have made the following uh, There have been the following improvements to performance in Sage 50 accounts to, uh, 2012. File locking has been improved so that files are locked for a shorter period of time. Report locking. The software now takes a copy of the data and uses this for running the report. This means that the live data is no longer locked and the user ca can continue to process while the report is running. Progress indicator. There has been a, a, progress, ind a progress bar introduced so you can see that the software is working. In earlier versions there is no progress bar and users often think that the software has crashed. In some cases they will force the software to close which may damage their data. Thank you for attending um, this webinar on the new features in Sage 50 Accounts 2012. The full article that this webinar is based on can be found in this link below. And if you have any questions, please call our support team and there's contact details here. Thank you very much.